Well, as always, there's lots going on in the world of theater, dance, and music, and you can find the good stuff right here in Winnipeg. Breakfast Television's Jenna Cohen has all those details in your Entertainment City Local Arts Update. We kick things off with the final production of the season from the Royal Manitoba Theatre Centre's main stage, Other People's Money, where corporate takeover is the name of the game. Don't talk to me in Wall Street, talk to me in English. If you don't change, you die. That's the philosophy of Larry the Liquidator, a bigwig who preys on companies he dubs worth more dead than alive, buying them out, dismantling them and selling the parts. The MTC production sees the liquidator set his sights on an aging New England wire and cable company. As he rolls up his sleeves to do his dirty work, he realizes the family business has a lot more fight in it than he expected. Director Ann Hodges says the satirical look at the excess of the 1980s still resonates today. I think that what people will go home with is just this sort of dilemma of how do we live nowadays in this world where we, want to, we have that push-pull between committing to a community and also uh, wanting to make money. A solo work by award-winning choreographer and performer Marie-José Chartier arrives in Winnipeg this weekend. The acclaimed production of Stria layers a medley of evocative images, blending movement, music and text to create an experience that is by turns dark, playful and funny. The show is part of a national tour including Montreal, Ottawa and Vancouver and brings one of Canada's most respected artists to the gas station theatre. We open it up so that every person that comes into the theatre, they bring their own history so they will interpret as they, they, they connect with it. So it's open, it opens the imagination as well. It's about to get hot, red hot, at the West End Cultural Centre. Winnipeg-based Dixieland Swingers, the F-Holes, are throwing a party there this weekend, celebrating the vinyl launch of their 2012 album, Red Hot. The band will play songs from the record at the show, which pays tribute to some of their favorite songs and artists with their own F-Hole twist. The band feels a vinyl recording will give their fans a different listening experience. I tend to, to sit down to listen to a record, whereas if I'm just listening to an MP3 or something, you're on the go, you're doing you know, this and that, and you're not really focused on, on the music so much. And dust off the record player. You could take home your own vinyl copy of Red Hot. Just visit breakfasttelevision.ca and follow the contest links. And a number of Manitoba artists are headed to Regina this weekend. Juno hopefuls include Aboriginal musician Don Amaro along with group Burnt Project One and classical musician James Ennis. We'll have your 2013 Juno Award results Monday on BT. For Breakfast Television, I'm Jenna Kahn.